that's how the 808 starts from this part, which is like the base, and everything blends in. I'm big and moozy. Fan clam up high. How I started was uh, back in high school, I was in grade 9, of a friend. I used to crump back then, I used to crump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and my friend J Twin, he actually gave me FL Studio. I always told him about beats. He grew up in a musical family, but I was more interested because I knew myself that this is what I wanted. So, I never had a PC. I used to go to my friend's house, back of the street, now. I used to make my beats at Now's place. Eventually, my brother was doing IT. He got a computer, so I started messing around his computer till it broke. Messed up. I discovered a new friend called Nell again from Orlando. I started going to his, to his place making beats, he introduced me to plugins and stuff, and packs. I never knew about packs, and made to lay your beats out. So I got packs from him, learned a lot about music. I surrounded myself with people that do music that are older than me, actually. I'm 22. My mom was worried about me chilling with old people, like, hey. Why are you always chilling with old people? And I told him a story like, nah, mom, I'm making music now. And so I'm chilling with the older guys. Eventually I grew, I grew as I grew. I met up with some other guy called Maculum. Mac taught me how to sample. I learned a lot from Maculum musically and how to structure beats properly. My mom bought me a phone, a Blackberry. The first time getting a Blackberry, I decided, yo, let me download Twitter. Let me download Facebook. Got that shit back, so I started looking up to producers like Boy Wanda, 40. This is so musical and so out of space. I learned a lot from them. Then I got Twitter, my boy, my friend, Easy, the same person that I used to make beats at, told me, yo, the Liz is looking for producers. I sent the Liz a beat called. I called it Tranquil and he called it Mandela Money. The single was supposed to drop back in 2012 before the Mandela Money album came out. There was a single called Mandela Money. Apparently, it didn't drop due to him dealing about something. I stayed making him beats, sending him beats. Eventually, around 2013, Kevin came up. I actually laced it in the kitchen early in the morning. I was cooking. And it was inspired by a soup actually. But I called it 25 Stena because it sounded very like 25 still, like 25 grind. I, I'm gonna send the list this. He, he got excited. <laughs> Started sending me messages like, yo, prepare the sips. So I immediately prepared the sips, thinking that he's gonna come collect the beat over my husband. Since this beat is such a hit, he sent one of his boys over, Max. Uh, me and Max met at Deep Loop Square. That's when it was reopening again. So I sent him the sips sent him everything, he recorded the tracks. Four weeks later, the, 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 the track went big. Um, he told me he's gonna write a contract down. Yo, yo, when radio it's passed, and my friends around school were so excited. Like, yo, bro, you're always at the library making beats. Now we see you for who you are. It's like, yeah, and I was excited, it was overwhelming. My friend heard it first, Papi, Franz. He heard it first and it's like, yo, I heard your jam. It's number nine on the hot nine nine. We made it. And I was so excited. Then I came home later and switched on the radio just to see if Belle and the truck is on. And I heard it, I was excited. Me and my little brother were celebrating. Like, yeah, we did it. So I was excited. I, I knew that, wow, well, okay, this is only the first step. Like, there's still more to come. I still need to lace more beats. So I continued lacing more beats, started listening to more genres, do some motion orchestras, 
your Bonobo, your F FK Twix, just to get more inspiration. Then Les told me like, I'm signing you to F2D, not F2D. I'm bringing the contract to you. Send me the contract. Make my email. Wrote down everything for me. Two months later, three months later, down the line, Les told me that, yo, I need a new banger. That's when fire came out. So I laced fire around one in the morning, around 1 a.m. And fire was actually inspired by artists called Bonobo and uh, some motion orchestra. I got inspired musically, so I found myself musically and I found my sound, which is very vibey and dark. Then I sent him fire and he was so excited. He was like, yo, this is another one again. I'm shooting this in LA. Six months is over. The contract said I was going to get paid six after six months. Ah, uh, didn't get paid. My self-esteem went down. My beats couldn't sound the same. Spiritually, I went down. Like he killed my spirit, not not getting paid and not meeting my parents and not helping me out, manage my stuff. So what happened is that I got so frustrated that my laptop fell down, lost over like 500 beats. It's even worse, yo. I started getting confused. Started hanging around bad people because I thought my life was over. I was actually depressed. I felt depressed because that's that's not the whole depression feel. Like yo. I'm under this guy, I'm working for, the, for a great guy, but I'm not getting anywhere via my life, via my future. My homies thought everything was alright, because I always have a smiley face. I don't, show, I don't show when I'm feeling sad. The only person that knows when I'm sad is my mom or, or my little brother. Especially my mom, my mom knows me all. She can tell by my eyes that, yo, something is wrong. I felt sure. I felt like my life was over. I even had like suicidal thoughts. Luckily, I had friends around me like Nizi. Now, now it came to the rescue again. It's like, nah, boy, don't give up. You're so gifted. You're so gifted. Like, the music still needs you. You know what I mean? You're still young. Everybody gets ripped off. So I continued making beats, but now, rather that happiness that I had when making beats, it's just making beats, just to make beats. At times, my beats didn't sound the way I wanted them to feel like because of the emotion I'm feeling so my, my friend Anela Melo Drove told, told me like yo this emotion you have try to put it on your beats that helped a lot that helped a lot then I started finding myself started building myself later on I made to solve a contract out he wasn't straight enough you know what I mean like he, he was so when he promises, promises you something it sounds very very nice like yo this guy's about to do something major for you but he's just like Liz you know what I mean he he ended up ignoring me early last year around late last year November actually we were supposed to have a meeting at Sambro Liz was supposed to meet me at Sambro so I can because I asked him okay if I'm not if I'm not getting paid can I at least check how my tracks did via airplay via that via Sambro so I can check the paperwork so I can also show proof to my mom that yo my tracks got the certain airplay got to Sambro the less tells me a story like, yo, I'm leaving for Cape Town, I couldn't make it. Exactly when I got to Sambra, and they gave me the time, imagine. They set everything out, like, we're gonna meet at 12, we're gonna do this. They didn't get there. And I came home very, 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 very disappointed, and I had to lie to my mom. And I hate lying to my mom, I know my mom. My mom is like my best friend, you know what I mean? I tell every secret to her, like me and her have combos, you know what I mean? My mom could see that Joe, you lied, you didn't see these guys today, they disappointed you again. I felt very, very disappointed. I mean, because at the same time, I made the beat, I'm supposed to check. Also, I have the right to check the royal teams, you know what I mean? Because they have the membership, I haven't got my membership, a summer membership yet. They have the membership, so. You know you got fire. Last year, that's when I registered the tracks. But I registered with Sambro back then as a kid. But like Sambro just told me like the tracks need to be a radio. After two years, that's when you get like a recognition. So this is like my second year, which is June is like the second year, which the same day when Heaven came out. So I'm waiting on that too. I don't know if, if that is also very valid because it's very confusing. I still love music, but now at times I feel like giving up. Cause nothing is happening. My little brother is the person that always pushes me. Cause he'll tell me like you never used to sleep, now you sleep. You know what I mean? That would make me feel bad because I don't like sleep. But yesterday he said the same thing. It's like why are you sleeping, bruh? I started something. I started a drum. 
got my spirit back again. Like at least there's there's people that wanna see me making music. So it's like, ooh, let me do this again. Heaven I made when I was 19. I was 19. Uh, fire I was 20. You ain't in that bang. You ain't in that bang. He gave me a uh, stupid tub. A <laughs> stupid tub, yeah. Just like a uh, thank you. He invited me to parties. But I told him, like, I don't party. I don't party much. I'm not an outgoing person. I'm always in the house making music. Like, he kept on making empty promises that, yo, I'm gonna do this for you, do this for you. I'm gonna come through. I'm gonna pick you up. But eventually, he didn't come through. Not at all. He doesn't know my house. He doesn't know my house. I feel very calm when I make music, especially when I'm lacing something emotional, which is the state that I'm feeling right now. I'm very emotional right now. So every time I lace like a good beat, it heals me big time. It heals me big time. It makes me feel great. I love it, yo, big time, big time. Like I can't live without music. Like from hip hop to your indie or rock, everything, everything is nice. New, new acid jazz, and this is what was in this is how the beat started. It was on a high tempo actually. Laced up the violin, it was actually quick. It's funny how it was quick, like started off quick. Then I decided, Joe, this beat needs that perp feeling, you know what I mean, that purple world feeling, so I slowed it down to a 130 tempo and that's like an R&B tempo then you got the violins inspired by Scott Storch third layer of the beat was Gladiator, which was an ice cream bell, which I very love the bells you hear in the background, it's the ice cream man in the hood, every Sunday, yeah, it's also way too you know what I mean, that's what the kids love Kids love that ice cream, so I'm like, dude, you want to five francs? Not only for ice cream, then it went along with the with the violin so much. Then the snares were inspired by my old sample that I made of a, a Beethoven beat. Then I came up with that synth, that, that fat brass synth that makes it sound grimy and sweet. Fourth sound actually was a kick. Which I call it the chicken breast kick because it sounds like the chicken breast. You know what I mean? Like, then you got the sword snare, which pulls out like a sword. Then I chop it off a bit like that. Then I got the 808, which you can't hear because there's no subs around. Then I laced up a kick. Just added that flexi, that's the new culture, which we call trap. And the hi hats just play, you know what I mean? Yeah. On and on and on and on. It took me 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so it's like a quick beat because new age music, it's really very easy to make. This beat plays a big role in my life something i remember so much like it set everything for me even though there's better beats than this one but this one is the one because there's so much influence into it simplest influence <laughs> like the kids the place where i'm from the people that are surrounding me like, this beat is dk like the snare the snare tells you that it's so dk people from dk love is the snare and the 808 you know what i mean if a beat has an 808 on it people just spaz if there's no 808 People on high pop, you know what I mean? I made it in the kitchen. In the kitchen table without the keyboard actually. Without the keyboard, it's just the laptop. And my old headsets which my brother uses, which are like low quality headsets and I mixed and mastered the beat myself. <laughs> Footy, cause melodically I think me and him like tell stories via melodies you can tell by this ice cream melody melodies have this emotional feel you know what i mean like melodies can change a song a happy song into a sad song so but 40 he's just like that how he discovers a melody of a different producer and puts that emotion feel onto it is very genius
Ray Sherman definitely, definitely. Schoolboy Q too, but Ray Sherman has to be first. They young, they vibe, yeah. And so it's DK everything, yeah. At the crib, everything I do. Zone one, this is zone. This is like the first hood. This is where like everything started. This is where hip hop actually started in DK. That's funny, like this is where like everything started. I actually got this music thing from my mom and my dad. The music scene bringing Africa to the scene, you know what I mean? Bringing more of Africa to the world. Showing people how versatile Africa is via music. Yeah. That's it. That's the whole heaven beat right there. The original one which is 25 stena. Yeah. Done. <laughs>